Hey y'all, it's time for day seven of the Maker Advent Calendar. Um, this is Christy with Tea Dottles. <laughs> um, so day seven says put it in a hoop. Okay, so yesterday we traced our choice of the word maker um, to put on one <laughs> on our little piece of sulky here and picked out our fabric. Um, I was going to do this one, but I don't, I don't think y'all are going to be able to see that very well on camera. So I'm just going to use this lighter one for me. Um, so today you received a little mini hoop and this little wooden tag that says with love with a grommet on it. Now this you can, you can, uh, so you're probably guessing that we're going to do some embroidering, y'all. Embroidering? Is that a word? Yeah. It is because I said it. <laughs> so this little tag, you can, we can put it, you can add it to your project if you would like, or you can put it in your junk journal. Okay. Um, it is a wooden tag. I'm going to put mine in my junk journal, um, but you can save it for the end of this and decide if you want to put it on here or what you want to do. Okay. So all we're doing today is putting it in a hoop, y'all. We're going to unscrew this for those unfamiliar with, uh, embroidery hoops <laughs> and we're gonna put it it's tiny it's so tiny all right so I'm just gonna kind of feel because this is going to go from one edge to the other edge y'all this maker statement um, I did do them kind of diagonally I'm gonna push this down on it Boop. look at there isn't that so cute all right so <laughs> This is really short today. This is all we're doing. We're putting this in here. You can just kind of feel. I just want to make sure you got enough room to get a needle through there, obviously. So, there is what we do today. Just putting it in a hoop. Yeah, I know some of these, once you get to the next part, it's going to take a little longer, obviously. But uh, sometimes I had to break them down into steps. And some of the steps are very simple. So, it, it's always nice to have a simple day, right? And then you can just continue to work in your maker journal, your uh, junk journal. So I'm going to now, since I've decided where I'm going to put this, I'm going to move this aside and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with my tag. Okay, I'm going to put it inside here. We got a second. I used my, uh, I'm going to dig around in my box over here for a second, y'all, because I didn't pick out my, we got a second, um, Brad, if I can get, y'all, why did I not pick that out before I started getting on camera? Good googly moon, there it is, I found it, I found it, you can hear me making up of a racket, now I gotta try to pick it up, okay, so, we got two brads. We got a snowflake and a Christmas tree with our junk journal. Um, if you haven't used it yet, you can use it to put this tag on. I used my snowflake one on the front, right? Because it looks like a squished bug on the inside instead of a snowflake. But that's okay. <laughs> so I'm going to, you can also, hmm, I think that this will fit on here. So if you wanted to, you can just uh, put it on the loop if you wanted to just stick it in there somewhere um, like for example if you just wanted to hang it out up on the front cover or if you wanted to um, put it in here somewhere specifically you can you can just hang it on this it'll fit on these little binder rings as well so that's something fun to do um, I'm actually I think I'm gonna stick mine on this page simply because it's a heavier page. It doesn't have to be a heavier page. Um, it could be any of these pages. That's just where I think I'm gonna stick it. Let me see. So we have it here. I just want to put it here. I've already started decorating this page. Um, I kind of like the way it looks right there. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna take some really sharp scissors. 
these are embroidery scissors, but, um, and I want to poke, yeah, it was probably bigger than it needed to be, but this is like that plasticky piece of paper you got, and then I'm going to stick this tree through there, and I'm going to poke it through my kind of large hole. <laughs> I'm going to put it on there like that. I like that. Yeah. So it still has some movement to it, which is really cool. That's the fun thing about junk journals. You can make it have little moving parts and things. But like I said, you can just simply stick it on here on one of the pages you want it on or on the cover or something. It'll hang out. You do it however you want to. But this is your junk journal. Junk journal, not mine. Now I have to figure out how to cover this up. Actually... Since I have my paint pens, or paint markers now, I'm going to try. I don't know how well the paint markers going to work on this plastic, but we're going to try it out. Let's see if I can get a better snowflake or star. Look. I'm liking that better already because it looks like... I think I can go over this and make it a little more white. Oh yeah, look at there. This one looks much better than the one I did on the front. The one on the front looked like a squished bug, y'all. It just did. And this one's still not a very symmetrical snowflake. You know, if I was a snowflake, this is the kind of some snowflake I would be. Because I am not a symmetrical person at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one looks better, doesn't it? Yeah, if I do say so myself. Put me some. I like putting the dots on things, y'all. I'm just going to put it down one side because I want to put something else on this page and cover it up stuff. But there's one big old, one big old snowflake there. How about that? <laughs> All right, y'all. That's it for today's advent calendar. I will see y'all later on in my vlogmas. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.